brand new forklifts are completely autonomous. How do they see and orientate and how do they avoid obstacles? At this warehouse in Balbao, in northern Spain, a strange robotic ballet is underway. These automatic forklifts weigh eight tons each. They transport heavy loads of soda and they are completely unmanned. They work with a laser that measures the different distances inside the walls in the warehouse. These measurements give the robots their spatial position, so the machines are able to move around different paths in a very accurate way, in a range of millimeters. It's a real challenge to allow different machines to move around autonomously in a given space like this. They have to calculate path and speed, and they have to do it in a safe way. Safety is a fundamental issue here. And what technologies allow these prototypes to work autonomously? Electronic and sensor engineers develop systems that allow robots to understand their surrounding environment so they can follow determined paths and avoid collisions. To achieve this, complex and sophisticated devices were installed in the circuit boards. The main components are different sensors that watch and monitor if there are persons to be avoided around the robot. Then up there, there is a navigation sensor. We also have two cameras that see in all directions. And inside the machine we have the control system. This manages all the movements the machine does and its different paths. It's connected to the central control system via a Wi-Fi signal. A key point, scientists say, was to develop an efficient perception. Laser-controlled safety scanners and 3D vision systems allow the automated forklifts to see around them so they can avoid obstacles, guarantee worker safety and better manage different trajectories. The systems provide uh, description of the environment surrounding the AGV, that means detection of the ground floor, detection of the obstacles, uh, tracking of these obstacles in order to detect the motion speed and classification of the obstacles. Before coming up with the existing perception system, the scientists faced a number of difficult challenges. One challenge we face is that light conditions in warehouses are difficult. There are many variables. For camera systems, this is a real challenge. But with laser scanners that are independent from light conditions, we're able to support the camera systems and the results in this case are more reliable. And we can work in a very robust way. Researchers are now thinking about the market ahead as a way to assist the competitiveness of the European manufacturing sector. A development phase will now follow for one or two years, after which products can be introduced to the market. A market with huge potential, researchers conclude, as automated devices nowadays count for only 1% of the total current sales of forklifts worldwide.